In today's episode, can we use our newfound gains in the North and South to really put the pressure on all of these squabbling nations in Greece and become the true hegemon of Greece? Stay tuned to find out. Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today we are back with another Epirus episode in RTR Imperium. So Rectum, last time was a very positive episode, I've got to say. Very good. We got a bit better with the Phalangites, didn't we? And we got a little bit better with everything else. We have taken Thermon from the Aetolians amongst this mess down here. I don't know what's going on, but <laughs> there's so many armies down here. And in the north, we have beaten back part of the Alexandrians, sorry, the Athenians, not the Alexandrians. Do they have a ram yet? No, they don't. They've only got uh, cavalry, really, as well. Um, but we need to come and beat back the Paeonians. We still have a plague in Pella, which is awful, awful for us. Not a good situation. Same thing over here. We've got a plague, too, because we moved a general from Pella. Bit of a mistake, uh, but what can you do, my friends? What can you do? Well, what you can do is probably not move someone there <laughs> in the long run. But anyway, uh, let's get going. I think we're at the end turn, guys. And I think I'm going to try and sort out a little bit of the audio because it's quite quiet right now. So let's end the turn, guys, and I'll see you after the end turn. So it seems the Bessie have been destroyed, guys. I wonder by who because they're up here. The Adrissians were doing quite well, but I don't really know who would be the destructor in that case. What we're going to do, though, we are going to move Alexander over there. Do these guys have a ram? They do have a ram. I really don't mind losing Burger. It's not too much of a worry for us right now. So let's pop over here. In fact, though, let's have a look at our movement. What could we do with our movement for now? Oh, dear. Mirina is very, very, very upset, and so is Imbros. Indeed, we do have this guy on the ships ready to come off. You guys get in there for now. Good. And that's made them happy for a moment. We've got the Athamanian Peltas on there. We do want to use them in the army. Now, what I'm thinking is if we have enough movement points, which we don't with this ship, we might do with this one. We pop here. Let's do that. We jump on the ship. No, come on. Really? Not enough movement just to drop us off here. Well, that's a little bit annoying. What I was going to do is try and do a draw out battle here. Take the city from Athens and then go on over this way. But what we're going to do, we're just going to pop there. We're not going to attack them, guys. Remember, we are not going to attack them. Where is the other ship? Can you join over here? No, you can't. So you're just going to pop in there for now. Get safe for this moment. This army is going to attack Stimbra. Also, guys, I wanted to say Happy Christmas, Merry Christmas, and a Happy New Year to you all. I hope everyone here that does celebrate Christmas, I hope you all got as many pairs of socks as you wanted and plenty of Lynx deodorant body spray. If, you, uh, if you're from the UK, that is the classic gift at Christmas. Christmas in the UK. So, yeah, I hope you all had a great Christmas and, uh, yeah, have a great new year as well from me and everyone at the Red Z channel, including Mr. Cherry. He has been uh, unsurprisingly, well, quite surprisingly, actually, very cheery this Christmas. He's normally a bit of a Scrooge, um, but this Christmas, Mr. Cherry has had a good time, I think. I think he had too many red wines on Christmas Eve, but, uh, yeah. But a fantastic Christmas to you all, and uh, thank you for the continued support on the channel, guys. And Brachia now has an armorer. Fantastic. Well, let's have a look at some of these. Civil Disorder. We've got three Civil Disorders. I know Marina, but Lucas again. Lucas is just going down a rabbit hole of destruction. 30% unrest. Why do we have such unrest here? Like, where has that come from? I mean, honestly, like it looks like it's going to get taken by the Aetolians, so it really doesn't matter too much. We are going to auto-resolve that in a second, but got marriage. That's fantastic. We want to keep that going. We've got an Aetolian League rebel in Thermon. Pella is still besieged. We've got another town grown, which is Ayana, and we also made an absolute load of uh, money, money last turn. Very nice indeed. 
And yeah, Pella is still plagued, but now Baroya is back to being good. Fantastic. You can go back to... Uh, oh, Agathocles has died because of the plague. I mean, it was going to happen at some point, wasn't it, my friends? But let's accept that. And he's gone into Ambrakia, so let's have a look. You do have one management. Let's have a look at your stats. You're ignorant, charismatic, and vigorous. He is venal, individualistic, and optimistic. Uh, but yeah, not many management traits at the moment, but we can get him some if he goes into Pella. So we are going to bring him up to Pella. We want, you know, people to be managing Pella at all times because it is one of our good cities at this time. But 792 gold without the trade is, uh, is pretty poor, <laughs> let's be honest. Not good at all. Now, in Umbrakia, we are still recruiting. Same in Fenike over here. I believe we're recruiting everyone on the same turn. So that's actually a good good choice by us. Because otherwise, it gets a little bit confusing with all the different recruitment hubs. So, yeah. Good choice by us to do that. Over here, we've sieged that down. We've moved that army. This Pionian army is a little bit scary, but... Yeah, they've got a long way to come if they want to come and fight us. Over here, let's auto-resolve this. This shouldn't be a problem. 42 losses, not a problem at all. Now, in Oinadai, so a lot of people have questions about what I do each time, guys. And I'll just go through it slightly, depending on the uh, depending on the settlement. It, it all depends on the settlement. So we're looking at Oinadai now. It's got 7,200 population. It's 140% happy. So if we occupy, it's going to be happy. But that's with a massive garrison and with Iskirion, who has a few influence. And for each influence point, you get 5% law, guys. So say you had 10 influence points, Iskirion. He would provide 50% law. And that is 50% public order. So without him, you'd be on 90%. So if we occupy here, there's a good chance that we may not be happy if we leave just one unit in there. So you've got to be wary of that the whole time. However, you want to occupy places that you want to keep as recruitment hubs and occupy places that you think are good economic hubs that you can grow pretty quickly. Now, enslavement. Why do I use enslavement quite a bit? It's because I want to grow my other cities that are already happy and are already built up to the uh, requirements and specifications that I've built them to. Remember that Oinadai has had the AI building in it, so there's not a huge chance that they're going to have built buildings that I would have wanted in there. So this population may not be working the right way in Oinadai, and I may want to disperse it to other settlements. And remember that our homeland, which is all the places where we have built the most in all through this game, remember that they are very low fertility, so they can pretty much only grow by enslavement. So that is why we've enslaved a lot in the early part of the campaign. Now, extermination. I very rarely use extermination, but extermination... Uh, basically because it destroys your diplomatic reputation. Not that that is really a massive thing, remember, guys, because the AI does not care about that too much. But uh, extermination, yeah, just destroys the population. It gives you a load of money. That is one thing. So if you need a cash boost, that's when you'd exterminate. Or if it's a completely different culture and they're going to be very unhappy, that's when I'd exterminate. But for me, I don't really see the point of exterminating otherwise. Uh, unless you've gonna get gonna have really bad public order issues, um, or you just need the money. So I generally choose between these two. And for Oinadai, we're going to enslave, mainly because I want a little bit of extra growth. I'm trying to balance it out. I believe we didn't enslave Thermon, did we? So yeah, I want to try and balance that out. Now Ellis, we are neutral with now. And as we have a look, the problem with enslaving or exterminating as well, you do damage the buildings in here. Now, overall, it looks like a pretty darn good economic hub here. I don't want the Temple of Artemis. I would rather a trade income temple. But let's get that done. And, yeah, by doing that... No, we didn't get anywhere grow. But, uh, yeah, we're going to have grown, you know, these settlements by a little bit. And some of these places over here, yeah, look, even minus half a percent. Remember, I'm going to adjust these so they're always relatively positive. 
Remember, I did that earlier on. We wanted to make sure all of these places were growing, even if it's half a percent. So I am going to pop all of those down. But it's likely gone down slightly because of that enslavement. Because all these places are growing slightly. Even uh, Oricon on low is going lower. So we really do need to find some fertility buildings in there. Now in Oricon, let's have a look. I think we're just going to go straight for the sewer. Because the sewer is a fantastic building. It's already making 2,500 though. So potentially we want to go for the shrine to Dionysus here. It'll keep them happy and build us more tax income in this region. Now we don't really have anyone that we can place in here for now. So I'm wondering if we can put a, you can see 15% even with the enslavement. Um, put a cheap unit in there or maybe swap out a unit. Well let's group these guys together. Remember control and drag guys for this. There we go. We've got a unit of 29. And what we're going to do, we're going to place that 29 in there. 60%, but once all these have been repaired, it should be okay. And what we're going to do is just replace that phalangite unit with a mercenary phalangite. And a mercenary phalangite should be better than the deuteroy anyway, you can see. Even the deuteroy with some good experience are not quite as good as those boys. We've still got some ambrachiotes. And we've got a lot of those boys. I would love some cavalry. That would be excellent. But I don't think we're going to be able to get that. Now the question is, where do we go? Because we can't get through this melee over here. I genuinely think we need to go after Ellis. Because although there is this, we do have Zakynthos here. I tell you what we'll do. We are going to recruit a ship over this side. Uh, is there anywhere where we can get a, uh, a ship? Two places we can get a ship. That's fine. I do want to be conquering, though, while we're waiting. So I wonder if we just pop here. I don't want this army to get squished as well and just stuck in here. That would be a nightmare. God, look at Macedon down here in the south. They are they are rampant. I would much prefer to go onto the Peloponnese now rather than get a border with Macedon down here as well. So, I think that's everything. Let's do the rest of our building then. We are still recruiting. I believe I also got a new diplomat. I did. Because this guy is really bad. And, you know, someone said that you can disband the diplomat by pressing this button. Look, I am pressing the button, guys. And I don't know why this diplomat himself cannot be disbanded. Like... It's just not working. I, I don't know whether that's a glitch. Does he have to be inside our territory? I mean, let's try that. No, still. Still not working. Still not working. So, I really don't know why that diplomat's broken. But what we're going to do... We're going to go send him round to Rome. He's not our best representative. We'll also talk to the RDAI and the Scordisci along the way. And then the other diplomat, Mr. Python... We are going to send you to talk to people in the south, like the Boeotians. How about an alliance? No. How about, say, the GCS now? Surely they want an alliance? No, they hate us. Very good. No uh, I shouldn't us. have done that. I shouldn't have, uh, I shouldn't have uh, done that one straight away. But he can come and scout down here. Have a look around. Maybe talk to Sparta as well along the way. Sparta seems to be doing okay. But... Uh, the problem with taking out these small guys is we leave a massive power vacuum behind for the Antigonids to just absolutely smash everyone. So that's a little bit scary, but I think we're going to be okay. Now, in Ambrachia, what we're going to do, we can either go for the Academy to try and get this guy to make this place a little bit richer, or we can go for the Agora. And I think we're going to go for the Agora. It's a lot of money, but what it's going to allow us to do is when we get to Huge City is build that next level of armor now which is fantastic so also do we have yeah the temple of Dioscuri. that's what we want to start building after the agora but we're going to build the agora nice and early on in our journey to huge city guys so let's press the end turn and let's see where we get to so the antigonids have attacked us at burger what i am going to do is actually play this out because there is a chance, a small chance, mind you, that their singular ram gets burnt down. So we're going to try that. We're going to try and burn it. But it's very unlikely, my friends. But we will try anyway. 
And we didn't manage to destroy the ram, so death will come to us very swiftly. <laughs> Here it comes, and it's already done. <laughs> Another of the Celt Thracian slash factions all up in northern Thrace has been destroyed. Interesting. I wonder who is doing the destroying. There must be a pretty big empire. And genuinely, it's a little bit scary, I'm not going to lie. Um, now, four in here. We cannot train Ambrachio Phalangites yet, can we? We need this. Well, let's not get the sewer because the plague's gone now. So let's get the army barracks so we can train Ambrachio. And uh, just as I suspected, they did run away. Where is that, uh, this ship? Ah, they've got Ambrachiotes on there. So, uh, these guys, Athamanians on there. So, what I'm going to do, send them in there. Because we need two more units in this army to make it a full army. Let's organize this way. I don't know why, when you organize it, it puts the Thuriophori between the Deuteri and the Ambrachiotes. I know the Ambrachiotes are better. Um, but that's fine. Let's come back for retraining because we scared the Pionians away. We can afford two more turns. I'm also going to repair these guys. We're going to train one more Athamanian in there as well. So we'll have a few. And we can retrain those boys and get another Athamanian there as well. Fantastic. What happened over here? Nothing. It's still just a Mexican standoff. It's incredibly annoying. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Let's just get an Oinodai for one more turn. Um... God damn, honestly, like, what are they doing? Just standing there, just blocking the way. And I don't want to attack them. Oh. Oh, well. Oh, well. There's not much we can really do about it, is there? Um, so, yeah, I'm glad we scared the Pionians off for now. Uh, we've got more civil disorder. Oinadai, yeah, well, Oinadai, that's fine. Let's repair those, though. Let's uh, bring them ahead so they get repaired. Imbros... Imbros is still upset, even on 70% and rioting, but it may stop soon. Lucas has now lost its unrest. Good. Yeah, the unrest is gone. So there was just a problem with the unrest there. So that's just going to get more and more unhappy, honestly, this place. So we need to be slightly worried about it. Another guy who's a tedious speaker. Sounds like a great guy. Let's get him. Um, now, where do we want to manage? We've got people in these places, which are the rich areas. Let's also have a look for another rich settlement. Probably around Thessalonica, though we do have a guy in there. Wondering about Tarona, Acanthos. Acanthos is slightly upset right now. Uh, but Falana, we don't have someone. Farslos, we do. Ferai. Yeah, Demetrius is probably the one making 2,000. We don't really have people in here, though, in Kikiros. So, I am think getting Kikiros, you've got one management. You're going to make it better. There we go. Faction destroyed. Python. Wait, was that a spy or, or what? Or was it a diplomat? That was our diplomat that we just got. Oh, well, I'm done with diplomats for now, guys. <laughs> Fuck diplomats after all this. <laughs> Fuck them. Jesus Christ, man. That is stupid. <laughs> Why would you bribe him? That's very pointless. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> right. So we do have a battle we can do with Big Pyros over here. Full star command now. Very nice indeed. Not going to be the greatest battle in the world, but I think it's definitely worth... Oh, my God. Look at the Deuter, right? It's definitely worth doing it on the map rather than anywhere else because I think we'll take just so many losses unless we do it on the map. So let's get into it. What's this settlement called? It is called Stimbara. And once we've taken Stimbara and Heraclea Lincestis, the uh, Antigonids are just gone from the west side of Greece. So we literally just have these four or five settlements up here. And maybe this one as well. Six settlements. And then it's just them in the south. Um, and I think our armies at that point will be diverted south. We'll probably divert Pyrrhos down south as well. And we'll just leave Alexander to mop up the Antigonids up here. And then go and focus on the unruly Thracians. So let's get this siege for Stimbara 
underway, my friends. So here we are, well in the fight now, my friends. We've actually not really uh, fought anyone too much yet. So we've just thrown a few jabbies, so we're going to get our hoplites into the fight here. We're also going to come up and deal with these mercenary hoplites and see whether we can deal with them. Looks like the uh, hoplites are taking a bit of a battering. We're also going to get the generals up here if we can do to try and flank. Ideally, we want to deal with the mercenary hoplites and then start flanking these boys. So, uh, oh, here we go. Uh, backspace, 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 backspace. Get them off the town square. Ideally, I want uh, the general to come around this way, actually. Uh, yes, general, let's go. Let's go this way. Let's go this way. I know it's going to take you a little bit longer, but it should be fine in the long run. We've got the archers up here. You guys get there. Got you guys. Let's go. General, are you going the right way? I think you are. So, hoplites, how are we doing? One of the hoplites is running away, unfortunately. But I think once we've killed that general, there's only four of them left. There we go. Get him. Got him. Oh my god, general. How? What? Are you taking the piss? I told you to run here. Jesus Christ, man. How can you do that? That's so dumb. God, man. I, it's... Ah, come on. <laughs> really? You're going to run... Like, to come here, you're going to run that way, that way, and that way, rather than just running along here? Jeez, man. Jeez. That is not what we wanted. But I think these guys can uh, hold their own. Firing that Thurio 4 right? The problem is fighting this Thurio 4 right here is a little bit of a nightmare now. But there we go. There we go, General. You know what you're doing now, don't you? Jesus Christ, man. Come on. Get down there. Get down there. Get down there, my friends. You guys, can you fire or not? Looks like you're running rather than firing. Here we go. More jabbies. Fantastic. That's what we like to see. Not doing too much friendly fire. Killed about 13 of them with the jabbies, probably. Very nice. Right, we're going to bring... Yes, you're pathing right now, my friends. Good. Well, I, I, I think they may be because they were up here. I don't know how far along the general was, but I thought he was just about there. So going that way. Maybe I did press here. I, I can't remember. But uh, anyway, let's go. Now you're pathing. Now you're pathing well, my friends. Very good indeed. We've got our boys here. I'm going to alt attack, attack. And then hopefully what they'll do is they'll get their javies up. Mm, yeah, one of them has. That's good. That's good. Don't mind that. And I don't think they could fire, really, because the other unit was ahead of them. Right. Let's just stick here for a second. I want both of you to charge at the same time. So let's charge. There we go. Bangity bang, 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 bang. Let's go. And we've got these guys still fighting away. Yeah, I told you this was going to be a very bloody battle. We have lost 100... They have lost less than 100, so they're doing better than us right now. But it's just the quality of troops, and obviously playing on very hard as well, doesn't help. I'm going to rally you so you don't die, my friend. We definitely don't want to lose Pyros. There we go. Good charge, actually, from around a corner, because normally around a corner it's awful. Got them wavering. There we go. Now out, now out. Damn spot. Out. Let's go. Let's do that again if we can. Uh, we are taking the town square. We want to make sure these guys stay off the town square. Let's go. Oh, he's, he's leading the charge this time. That's not what we wanted. <laughs> That's 100% not what we wanted. But there we go. Got them wavering again. Ah, it's not quite enough. It's not quite enough. Well, let's come this way. There we go. Let's go that way and see whether we can break at least these 304 way. We've done a lot of damage to this one. So just fire... See if you can fire at them as they're running away. That would be awesome. Fire, guys. Could you fire? Maybe. That would be great. I've left them on. Oh, we lost a, we lost a Kilos. A Kilos has died in one of those charges. I did think that, you know, him being at the, to the head of the charge was not really going to be a great idea. We broke them. Good. Guys, fire, please. Fire. I don't know who they think they're still fighting. I don't think any of them. Oh, there's one guy there. That's literally it. God damn it. Well, kill all of these boys 
And then we don't need to use the generals anymore. We'll just pop the generals on the town square. You guys get there. And uh, all of you, you two, there's only three of them left. So you guys go after the mercenary hoplites. And that should be victory, my friends. Well, a pretty darn tough victory in the end. This army is just for sieging down these two settlements, though. And once that's done, we'll go and reinforce it and probably send it down south where the Antigonids have millions of troops once again. So, uh, yes, let's end the battle there, my friends, and let's get back on the campaign map. Well, Stimbara is ours, my friends, and I think as it's only a 4,000 settlement, we can uh, safely occupy it. It is slightly Thracian, so I wonder, can we get good Thracian units from here? We can. Oh, we can get Paeonian cavalry. We can get Thracian noble cavalry. Oh, baby. We can also get Romfei Foroi. Oh. <laughs> oh, yes. <sighs> yes, yes, yes. This unit, guys, on the stats does not look amazing. 25 defense does not look good. 14 melee attack is, is decent. But I can tell you that this unit is so OP for its stats because it's armor piercing with its sword. And it's got very good stamina. It's got a powerful charge. And it frightens nearby enemy infantry, which is just insane modifier in this game. Honestly, it is so good. Dionysus, that's actually very acceptable. Let's also make sure we're keeping them happy. Who do we want to leave behind this time? I mean, this, the, Celtic, the Celtic skirmishes are probably the option there. Let's go straight on to Iphistonias. He's got some Halka speed, as should I say. Oh, they've got a Gima. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Well, I think we can still beat this. It's just going to be quite tough, especially with Pyrrhus's five men in his general's bodyguard. Um, but yeah, I think we can beat this. It's just going to be quite brutal. Let's uh, see if there's any mercenaries available for us. There are. I think we get those two units just because they're... a bit more powerful than what we have available to us right now they're very good units themselves so let's get into this battle and hopefully we will have cleaned the antigonids up from western well north western greece Yes, time to go. I mean, if they're not up on this hill, I will be damned, my friends. I'll be damned. I, I think they are definitely going to be up on this hill. So let's get a, a good solid line at the front. They don't really have much infantry. So, I mean, we've got our phalanx men. So I want to kind of engage their phalanx with our phalanx. So let's group those boys together. Oh, we've got these guys too. I mean, they're just not going to be that, that useful, are they? We're going to keep all the cavalry together for now. And uh, yes, <laughs> they're up on the hill. Oh, also, why does this always turn back on? Does anyone out there know? Please, can you comment how you can save these battle settings? Because every single time I reload the game, this is turned back on uh, and stuff like that. So, you know, I want to uh, remove all of that stuff. I don't know where their uh, their secondary army is coming from. Normally, you can see the settlement, but I think it might be behind the big hill. <laughs> so, really cool battle map, this actually, isn't it? Can't see it out that way. It should be coming from the left, I think. But we would be able to see it, I believe, from over here. We, we've got view of that. So, maybe it's coming in directly from behind them. Ideally, we do want the Agima to get into the fight, though. So, oh, there they are. Um, wonder whether it's worth sending a Prodromoy just to harry them and make sure they don't run. Let's do that, because otherwise they're going to run. You guys can stop running now. Just stop. And uh, we'll speed this up. Now, guys, in terms of the episode lengths, because of all the edits in the battles... It's been very hard to gauge the episode lengths uh, in a lot of cases. So uh, what I'm going to do is 
probably just have a set record time of about an hour and 15, an hour and 20, and then see, uh, you know, and then you just get whatever the length of the episode is after editing. Um, so there may be some shorter episodes, some longer episodes, but that'll be because obviously it's really hard to judge what the time is after editing. Now, uh, we've got Yuzodoi over there. We've got a cavalry here too. Let's go up this way. Remember, we've got to kill Ifestionas if we want to win this battle. And he does have a better general's bodyguard than us. I kind of wanted to use these uh, javelins for a better use for the Chalka Speeders, but I guess we've used them now. So, you guys fire at them. Okay. They are... Are they running? Let's get around here. Let's also get these guys up this way. And we still have a lot of men in the back. You can come around that way. And that charge was, I would say, relatively successful. Because these units are, in fact, quite beastly. I'm not going to lie. That's their general dead already. I Festionas, you fucking fool. <laughs> Dickhead, mate. Dickhead. Uh, right. Let's... Guide these guys guys away. Let's just come over here. Let's get you off that. Just go over there. Get over there. I want you to guide them up this way. I hope they don't run away. That would be the most annoying thing. Uh, look at the Jalka Speeders there. Or the Halka Speeders, should we say. Uh, you guys, I want you to engage them. Uh, well, I could go after the Agima with some infantry right now. And you guys are just chilling. So what I think we'll do is we'll pull back these boys and then we'll go after the Agima because I really don't want the Agima running away. Oh, they are withdrawing. Right, we're going to go and attack them then. Uh, right then. You guys, are you guys withdrawing as well? Go, go, go. Get them, get them. Get them. Cavalry, we're going to have to get into them too. A bit annoying if they do withdraw. They do this a lot. <laughs> Why take the fight if you're just going to withdraw after one engagement? You guys get there. How are we doing down here? I think we'll catch them. I think we'll catch them, but we just need to be wary of that. You guys yourselves, I think you're good enough to come and deal with these guys. I don't think we're going to get there in time, but we might as well try. You guys get all the way around this way. You guys fight the Hulk of Speeders. And... Yeah, look at our cavalry here. Look how slow they are. Come on, boys. I don't think we're going to get them. No, they've gone. They've escaped. They've escaped. So, ah, uh, the Prodromoy. I didn't get back in time. You guys come over this way then now. How are we doing? You guys come around. And I think uh, I'll edit it from here, guys. Just to see whether we can actually get that Agima. Very unlikely. I think they're going to escape, unfortunately. Okay, well, it was at least a decent victory, and we got rid of a Halka Speeders and the General, so they should just have a Uzonoi and the Agima in the city now, which is great for us. So back onto the campaign map. Here we are. So let's get straight onto Heraclea Linkestis, and yes, it is just the Agima and the Uzonoi. So Achilos has died. I mean, I can't say his reign and his life was that successful let's be honest and i think honestly what we're going to do here once this army well, has a ship i think we're going to go after this army captain yuri lokos i don't want that large army just to our west just chilling on that island there because it could boat bomb us anywhere and we really don't want to have to deal with that <laughs> let's be honest we don't want to have to deal with that at all so Let's uh, keep on going. I think we'll end the turn. No, we need to do a little bit of building. Let's have a look then. Antigonia, Chionia. Uh, not really anything in here that's worth it. Yeah, we can see the wooden wall. It, it equals the happiness minus versus the law. So it's not worth getting that, upgrading that in our homelands. So let's have a look. Oricon, I think... Oh my god, this guy's got nine management. That's amazing. Let's make him even better with an academy. And anywhere else that's worth building. Oh, Dion. Maybe Dion would have been worth building there with his 8,000. I don't think we had 8,000 anyway to spare. So let's look at building that in Dion next time. Because we found ports to be so, so powerful, haven't we? They are very, very good. 
anywhere else worth building anything. Shrine to Dioscuri and Oinadai. Uh, probably not worth it. And Hiskana, let's go for the communal farming. Keep that population growth going, my friends. So let's end the turn there, guys, and let's see where we get to. Well, here we go, guys. Death stalks the land in Pella again. Again. Oh, not again. I think we're definitely going to have to just put the sewers in there now. It's a uh, bit of an unfortunate situation because when death stalks the land, you get no trade. Hmm. We get some sea trade, but no land trade, in fact. That's interesting. We've got 500 of devastation in this land from all the armies that have tried to march through here. We've got another adoption. This guy's hardened as well. He's already commanded some battles. I don't know who for. Maybe a mercenary company or something. But let's accept him. He's in Thessalonica now. Uh, where do we want him to go? I mean, Pella. Oh, Pella, yeah. Oh, we got the, that guy in Pella. That's fine. Bokiria. We've got guys over there. I'm wondering one of these cities out here might be the best option because I think they can become rather large and rather rich if we get it right. So I think we'll go for Torona over there. Uh, and we got a new son. Basalios as well. Good name. Good name. Basically, King. <laughs> Kingy. Mr. King. Kingy. Kingy, Kingy, Kingy. Right, let's get in Ambrakia. Ambrakia, Ambrakia, my friends. Let's get in there. And uh, let's retrain the boys. And no, let's uh, let's calm down a second. Let's make sure that we're retraining right. So, yeah, Deuteroy, go in there with your silver experience. That's brought you up. That should bring you up. Oh, look at that. Oh, yes! So what we like to see. You guys, yeah, that's brought up some of that. See if we can get a bit more experience over this way. Let's go for that. Eh, it's not really worked with the Ambaraki Oats, but that's fine. This might work, though. No, not quite. And then the uh, Cavalry. Let's go for that. And we can't do any more on the Cavalry. So, fantastic. So, hopefully, retraining won't destroy all of their... Uh, Recruitment too badly. We're also retraining everyone to give them new armor. So it's going to take a couple of turns, but that's fine. I'm happy to wait for a little bit. Now, we do have some more troops, some Thuriophoroi, some archers, and some more archers. So I do need to go around all the garrisons and make sure we've got the right garrisons in the right places and no good garrisons in places for no reason. Like, for example, we do have a mercenary phalangite in one of these, but that's fine. I think we're all good, honestly, on the garrison. Six men, 13 men, 19, four men. Like, that's all absolutely fine. This archer, though, they can actually go and join up now. I think we're happy here. We are glorious. So I think... I don't know what I want to do with that army, though. Um, interesting. Right. Who are we leaving behind here? That's the question. Any one of these... Archers get across in time. I don't think so. Hmm. Can you get there? Oh, you... Oh, you can't. So close. Well, I think you could if you were on a ship. So, let's get on the ship. Let's get here. Drop them off. What? Oh, you bastard! Get in there. Now, drop them off there. Now they can go. Right, we're going to jump on the ship too. You're going to jump in there. And it's plenty happy, Oinadai. So let's put it up. And I think it's time to deal with this massive army. So we will do that in a second. Let's do everything else first, though. God damn, Pella, man. <laughs> this is a pretty large army they've got come down this way. That's why we want to keep Alexander up here. There's still plenty of threats to us over this way. You guys... I wonder whether the auto-resolve would be nice. Hmm. Let's ignore that, my friends. Let's ignore... <laughs> Let's ignore that. And look, Heraclea Linkestis, it's not happy, even with all the garrisons. So we're going to enslave. That hasn't built anyone else. This guy's got a talented slave, not a grudge-holding slave, Pyros. So that's fantastic for us. I wonder whether leaving three Thurio behind would be enough. 
It actually would. That's amazing. Oh, fantastic. We'll accept that absolutely, my friends. Absolutely. Where was the place that had the Thracians? Pionians there. Illyrians over here. You still need repairing. I didn't realize that one. Let's go for the Shrine to Aphrodite there. Let's, we're getting the sewer in there. And now this Lincestis, which is a minor city. Once we've built this sewer, I think we definitely want to go for Recruitment Hub here. Although Stoby would be the best option because that's already a minor city. They're all minor cities actually up this way. So this army, what I'm thinking is... Going back to Fenike, picking up some of these troops and sending over some more troops. You guys go for Fenike too. Um, we could go Pella. But can we get Deuteroid? We can actually get Deuteroid, but Pella is, uh, you know, this is the problem with Pella being a, uh, <laughs> a plagued area. We'll jump over that way then. And what we're going to do is we're going to send across all of these units that we've been recruiting recently. Got to have a lot of archers in this army. Not something I mind too much. It would be nice, actually, to send these guys, but I think they'll be plagued. Let's have a look. Yeah, they've got the plague, so no point giving the plague to people that we don't want to have it. Um, yeah, well, I could do this. I could do very naughty things. Naughty, naughty. <laughs> I could do very naughty things if I want to right now. Um, which I think I am going to. These Ambrachiotes, they can go to Fenike too. So, well, actually, this army is going to be a bit of a mess, but it's going to be okay for the for now. So, let's keep on going. Everyone down here. Thermon is plenty happy now, so we can probably get rid of these guys. So, let's just pop out of Thermon. Let's see. Are you still happy? You still are happy. You can then go and join up in Fenike later down the line. We've got that to do. Let's do our building first, though. Who do we want to build? Pesaron's probably a good option. 1% growth here. Not too bad. Um, and you can see, yeah, the, the law is balanced out by happiness. So we don't need law here at all. We've got a level 2 recruitment hub, but nothing in there to recruit with. So Pesaron can go away. Let's, let's build in some of the areas that we have taken recently. Just to make sure they're staying happy. Like, let's get the sewer in there. We've seen how powerful, uh, how much we need the sewers. This city over here is quite a good little city. I do like it. Um, let's go for the public baths then. And that'll be it. And let's jump into this battle. We'll probably end the episode on this battle, guys. So I don't know how long the episode will be. But you never know. They've got Aetolian Epileptoid. Two units of those. They've got Aetolian Cavalry, which is quite decent as well. But we've got Zistaphoroi. We've got some Cretan Archers. We've got one unit of Deuteroi that's screwed. But everyone else is pretty much full strength. So this should be rather interesting. Let's get into the battle then, guys. Let's destroy this massive Aetolian army. Yes! so eager to face our lines. So eager to test themselves. That it? Normally, there's something else. Is he going to keep speaking? Do you reckon? Oh, there we go. We will smile and remember our deeds today. We will drink to the glory of the gods. There we go. That's the speech. Well done, Iskirion. You are a bit of a beast now. You, he is a good commander now. He started out a bit shaky, didn't he? But now he is a very good commander. Remember, we're going to group these guys together and I'm going to mix these guys in so that hopefully they will be mixed when we do the line. Let's just have a quick lookity look. We've got the Ambrakiotes, then the Deuteroi, then the Ambrakiotes. Yes, we've got them nicely mixed. Nice and flat battle map. I quite like this map. Very nice. We're going to have a fat formation. Remember, these Deuteroi, they can like stand at the back. I'm going to run them off the battlefield when we start. Now, these guys, what we're going to have, we're going to have an overloaded left flank with hoplites. And we're going to have a normal flank on the right with these guys. I think with the amount of missile troops they have, their front line is not going to be that big. So we can afford to have a pretty fat, uh, pretty fat front line. 
So we're going to have our cavalry behind. We're going to group you guys together. We're going to group you guys together and you guys as well. And then finally, these guys grouped. Right, let's go then. So their front line is a little bit wider than ours, but of course ours is going to be an overlapping front line where we bring the guys out. So we're going to just walk. Everyone just walk. Don't want you running. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to do the classic um, folding front line where we engage in the front and we fold our flanking troops around the side, giving it the... You know, the view to the enemy that we are not going to try and flank them. We're just going to take them in the front and, of course, uh, mix it up and do the opposite. Now, you guys are going to run away. Get away, my friends. Get out of the battlefield. We don't need you anymore, mate. We don't need you anymore. So what are they projecting their front line with? We've got the Hoplites, the Rio Foroi, Hoplites, Epileptoi, and more Epileptoi. So, yeah, we've got to be careful of the Thurioforoi, but I think our Phalangites marching up into the front line should be fine. So, let's keep going. Where are these guys? These guys are actually in range now, so if you just run there, that'd be great, and just get firing. That'd be fantastic. So, let's... I don't know what they're doing with this unit. Like, why would you do that? I don't really understand. Uh, see, the AI kind of ruins <laughs> a lot of your plans very quickly due to their goddamn weirdness that they do. Very weirdness. Why you? Like, why is this epileptoy here? Well, we're going to have to use our flanking force for the right-hand side to deal with them. Like, it's just annoying. I don't <laughs> really understand what they're doing. Right. Hoplites, let's keep marching forward. Going to keep them on guard mode for now. I have had a few comments saying take them off guard mode, but for now we're going to keep them on guard mode. Oh, look at them. They've got absolutely shredded there. Poor guys, poor guys. And we're going to get these guys up this way. Uh, I don't know why you're firing at them. Fire at the uh, Prodromoi. So we're going to keep going forward. Looks like their cavalry wants to come and tango. So let's get around this way here. Here goes the first charge into the front lines. These guys, I want you to attack them, you to attack them, you to attack them. I'm going to take them all off guard mode. So everyone off guard mode for now. And let's see what we do. Oh, get in there straight away. And these guys, let's go. You're going to have to face them. There we go. You guys, let's get around here. This is a little bit messy already. Thurio 4 we're going to come through that way. Where's the other Thurio 4 What are you doing, man? What are you doing? No, don't do that. You guys get it through there. And it looks like the front lines in general are holding. That one isn't. So why don't you face them? You guys get there. I think we've killed that cavalry quite easily. Cavalry then. Let's get all the way around the back. And we've got our hoplite flank on this side. You guys get them straight away. And we will get over here. Remember, they just have a captain, so they should not be a problem. Okay, here comes the Aetolian cavalry. We've got to go and deal with them. You guys come forward. I don't want that. Yeah, that, that Thurio Foroi has taken an absolute battering there, unfortunately. Let's make sure we are fully flanking these guys. Let's go. This is going to be a big flank on this side. we we'll bring our cavalry all the way around the back. You guys are firing pretty well. You guys get there. Looks like the Aetolian Cavalry did take a lot of losses as well. Killed about half of our Thurio Foroi, but we killed about half of them. So that's no problem. I see. I don't know whether with the guard mode on or off it's better. Like, this isn't the greatest of lines, but we have managed to, like, fully surround this one flank. So let's go straight through all the slingers and everything like that. You guys get them. You guys get them. Going to have to just micro a little bit more, I think. And we'll get rid of that Aetolian Cavalry, which is their general. Like, we should just be running through them now. There we go. That's it. That's it. That's it, boys. There's the general, which is not even a normal general. I want you to just uh, chase them down for now. Get in the back of them. And this is going to be the battle, boys. This is going to be the battle, I think. There we go. Straight in the back there. Straight in there. Fully surrounded these fuckers. <laughs> nice. Oh, baby. That's what we call a battle, my friends. Nice front phalanx line. Everyone else gets absolutely fucked. 
That's what we like to see. That is what we like to see. Oh, fighting to the death. You guys just get out of there for now. Now, they're withdrawing, but how many have we killed anyway? So we just need to kill a few more, which is probably these guys in here. And then I think we shall be good. Anyone chasing them down? That would be a good idea. Get one of you guys to chase them down. You're fighting them. And I don't mind leaving these guys to fight to the death. So a glorious victory, my friends. Well, a glorious victory, my friends. Absolutely glorious. Very good indeed. Deuteroy doing actually really well there. So well done, Deuteroy. I'll give you your credit where it's due, my friends. And uh, yeah, Thurio Fori taking a bit of a battering in those cavalry charges. But overall, a great victory for our empire once again. Let's get back on that campaign map. And I think it's probably worth just going for Same for now. It's only a town, but it can become quite rich once we get a port in there. So while we're here, we'll just auto-resolve that. So we might as well just stick there for now. And I think we'll stay in this port here. Uh, in fact, it's probably worth splitting up these guys just in case one of them gets blockaded in. And remember, you know... Um, Naval battles in this mod, guys, are won or lost. They are not retreatable, anything like that. It's just won or lost. That's literally it. So do need to be careful about that one. Uh, that's why I'll split them up. So let's end the turn there, guys. Let's go one more turn and let's see where we get to. Another glorious episode, actually. Been very, very nice. I know we've not had a load of huge battles, but it feels very much like we are building slowly. I mean going to have another pretty fat army in Fenike very soon. We've got this army ready to leave next, uh, maybe in two turns. So yeah, we're going to have some very, very nice armies. We've got this army led by Iskirion, which is great and still really not um, hurt at all, which is fantastic. So I think we'll go for Ellis afterwards because we can't mosh through this mess over here. Unless we, we could actually attack uh, Ladramon. Ladramon? What a lad. But uh, we got these three guys in there. So, yeah, I don't think... Uh, yeah, we should probably go for him, actually. And then go take now Pactos. And then just make our way through the Achaean League. Problem is, if we take the Achaean League here, then we will be bordering Sikion. And it's time for all of these <laughs> armies to come and attack us. The good thing here, though, is we are pretty much one turn away as long as we've taken this and, yeah, as long as we've taken now Pactos, we're pretty much one turn away from getting back to our settlements every time. Although, yeah, getting past Stratos is, is a bit of a nightmare. Especially if bloody Captain Petios just stands down there. What a bastard. But let's end the turn, guys. I've waffled on for too long. Let's see where we get to. And wow, the Seleucid rebels have been killed. That's very interesting indeed. I didn't even realize that they had spawned. But nice to see them actually spawn. We just got a trade agreement with Issa. So that's another person we should be trading with eventually when we get enough up this coast here. Now, Paonia looks a little scary here. I'm not going to lie. But hopefully once this army is, you know, uh, put back together, we should be good. Uh, we got you guys as well. And we got this single unit here. They can kind of just wait there, I guess. But I think, honestly, this army led by Pyrrhos will definitely be strong enough to take out this Paeonian army, especially if we get some Thracian mercenaries ourselves. The Antigonids did come and siege down Pella again. They haven't got anything in there. That's not going to help our plague <laughs> at all. So it's still just in Pella. And the Seleucid rebels emerged and died straight away. Interesting indeed. Pasaran has now expanded. That's great to see. That's our second large city. Fantastic. I love that. I'm going to spend a lot of our money on that upgrade building there. But it's definitely worth it in the long run. Hmm. We've got a load of people going to do the uh, Olympics. But it looks like none of them are our generals on campaign. Which is good for us. And we did get Argos Aresticon upgraded. Great. And then somewhere else, I believe. Yeah. 
Heraclea Linkestis. Oh no, it was just repairing that one. Okay, that's no problem. We were siege down by Thermon at the end turn two. So let's uh, just auto resolve this very quickly and let's um, enslave. And they've got another massive army on the island there. Interesting. I probably shouldn't have enslaved this actually. I probably should have just occupied. Oh well. I'm hoping we can leave this by itself. Sir, ready. Hmm. I mean, what's better? I mean, Thermon. Ah, was I not going to build a recruitment building in Thermon? I'm sure I was. I must have forgotten. Oh dear, that's a little bit annoying because Thermon's a really good city for it. We'll queue it in there for now. Uh, I mean, we can't even get there. That's the problem. Can we get there? I don't know. I don't know. Let's get the ships there. Can we come out of the ships, out of the city, straight onto the ships? We can. Oh, and 15%. Well, I don't mind it rebelling again. Let's get off there. And yeah, we can't because of goddamn Sparta. You know what? Well, if you go back here, should be able to save the city. And what do they have? They've got nothing really of interest. Uh, will you guys like to get on the ship, maybe? You guys join? Apparently, they don't want to join. Now, get on there. So I think it is worth us coming on to here and attacking Zakynthos. And then I think they should attack us, really. So you guys get in there. Can you merge now? You can. Fantastic. Good. And I think we'll be safe at Thermon. I don't think there'll be a problem there. Let's make sure we have enough money to retrain all of those boys. Let's go for Alexander, too, to get him some good... Um, is this... Yeah, let's make sure we retrain everyone, really. And let's keep on training. We want to keep training away. So we'll get another Ambarakio in there. Fenike. Let's make sure... Ah, we don't have enough money. So... We'll cancel that. And I'll tell you what. We will cancel the one in Pasaron for now. And use that money to retrain. Because that's going to be more useful to us overall. Than anything else we can do. We've got two towns growing actually. Antigonea, Chionia. And Demetrius. So next turn, we're going to have to spend all our money on that. These guys still don't have a ram or anything. So we can wait one more turn. And then it's likely Pella is going to get sieged down. But we could have a few little tricks up our sleeve to save Pella if we need to. Uh, including getting a load of mercenaries and just standing outside. So that is something that we could do. Pionia coming through his Skarna up here is, is not ideal. And for now, I think we're good with one single uh, general down south because we're just slowly making our way through this area, aren't we? Um, Lucas, you're happy. Anyone else that we could maybe send across to that island over there? I mean, you guys, probably worth sending you that way. So let's get that. Actually, no, we're going to be... Let's go stay over here so that we can ferry these guys back across when we need to. I don't think we could get through there and attack them because they have their own navy there. Ah, well, that's very frustrating. But I think we save our money now rather than doing anything else. So let's save our money and, uh, yeah, get ready to attack next turn someone else. So glorious, glorious episode, I've got to say, guys. We did very well. Uh, we're just slowly building up this episode. You tend to get those. You tend to get an episode like last one where you have 10 battles in an episode and then followed by another episode where, you know, it's a lot slower and you're just starting to starting to slowly build back up after the losses of the previous episode. And I think that's what we've done today. Uh, we still haven't made that much gains apart from the fact that the Antigonids are now out of this region. So this region is pretty much safe from any direction apart from north. So we do need to be wary of that, but I think relatively safe. I would really like to take Antipatria and this one at some point. Uh, because you can see these passes through the mountains here. We can't really get past the, uh, the city wall here. So it would be nice to take them at some point. But that is not a priority for now. Um, and we'll get these guys all retrained. And then we'll be ready to go. And they're all getting new armor upgrades as well. So they should have more armor and more melee attack which is great. 
for us. So thank you for watching, guys. If you did enjoy, please do like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next episode.